An emerging technology that generates electricity by mixing salt water and fresh water has reached a new milestone. The world's second osmotic power plant is now online in Japan. Osmotic power comes from the energy generated when less dense fresh water moves toward more dense salt water to dilute it. For more on what this type of power could be used for, we're joined by uh, Ali Altai, senior lecturer at the University of Technology, Sydney School of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. So how does, how does this type of power plant work? Okay, in laysman terms, uh, well, it's the process where the uh, osmotic uh, pressure, a gradient or difference between two solutions, is converted to uh, hydraulic pressure. And this hydraulic pressure will be taken to hydro turbine depressurized and we get electricity. How it's done, we have two solutions, as you mentioned, one of them of high concentration, a brine, and the other one of low concentration. So these solutions are pumped into special membrane. The high concentration solution will be partially pressurized and uh, pumped into the um, special membrane. Water goes from the uh, uh, solution of low concentration to the higher concentration solution. That volume of a pressurized the draw solution or concentrated solution then taken to a hydro turbine to be uh, depressurized mm -hmm. and then after that to a generator. Uh, there is a massive of two point, probably uh, 2.56 a trillion watts. Oh, wow. Okay, so what are the benefits of this kind of power when you compare it to other forms of renewable energy? Uh, yes. So the difference is um, osmotic uh, uh, power plant or salinity power plant, the difference between uh, that technology or this technology and other technologies, I believe uh, it will work better if we think about the uh, environmental restoration because apart from the energy or electricity we get out of it, it's also probably going to dilute some brines, which could be, you know, burden on the environment. Let's say, you know, any brine from uh, mining uh, industries or from desalination plants. So it take uh, that to brine and use it as the concentrated uh, solution and combine it with any low salinity solution like fresh water or some wastewater. No, so we are reducing the impact of our, you know, like activities, daily activities, and it comes to, you know, like either wastewater or uh, brine from any industries. And the other things, what I can say about the technology, which are advantages to, it's, it's the, uh, it does, it's compact. It doesn't, you know, like need large uh, land or area uh, compared to solar and uh, wind turbines. So, you know, when I when I look at this, I think about our country, obviously, Canada has three coastlines. It has some of the largest freshwater reserves on Earth. Does that Absolutely. make this type of power a good fit for us? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I think, you know, like uh, wherever you have, you know, like salt lakes, like the one in Saskatchewan, probably. And you also have uh, some mining industries in Ontario or mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, generates a lot of uh, brine. Um, I think, you know, kind of, you know, potash and NaCl or sodium chloride brine. That could be, you know, like diluted by any, uh, you know, like a freshwater source. Uh, Canada has a probably 10% of the world of freshwater, so that's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not only the brine, you need the brine and low concentration. So if you get, you know, like good quality uh, freshwater, that's also going to work good for the technology. Well, thank you so much for walking us through this morning, Ali Altai, and we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very much. If you like that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed, where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.